Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be discussing Optimal's cloud library. And our main focus will be on the offloading feature. Basically, this feature lets you move images from your server to the Optimal cloud in order to save server space. Now I'll show you exactly how this works. So right now I'm just going to my media library and I'm going to go ahead and open a few images. And if we take a look at their URLs, we'll see that they are currently stored on our server. So I'm going to show you guys how to offload these images from your server to the Optimal cloud if you want to save space. So let's go to the menu on the left. Under media, we'll click on Optimal. And once you get to the dashboard, click on the settings tab. Then click on cloud integration. Now we'll see two options, but for now we just need to enable offloading images. Let's also save our changes. All right, now by default, once this option is turned on, only new images will get offloaded. If we need to offload the current ones, we'll need to click on sync images. So I'm going to demonstrate this right now, but as we can see, we have a progress bar which shows how long we have until this process is finished. And this time all depends on the number of images we need to offload. So let's quickly jump to the part where it's done. Let's also save our changes and let's open our media library in a new tab to see what happened. Now, if I open one of these images, we'll see that it's no longer on our server. It's currently being served from Optimal's CDN. Now, let's see what happens when we go ahead and upload a new image. So I'm just going to grab an image from my computer and drag it to this media library. And if we open it, we'll see that it's also being served from Optimal's CDN, which is also referred to as the Optimal Cloud. Now, after offloading your images, if you decide you want them back on your own server, you have the option to click on this Rollback Images button to get them back. Now, let's take a look at the Cloud Library browsing feature. So if this feature is turned on and you're using Optimal on another website with this same API key, you could access its images from this one. But please note that you do not need to offload images in order to use this feature. Offloading is totally optional and it's only used if you want to save server space. All right, so from here, we'll turn on Cloud Library Browsing and we'll click on Save Changes at the bottom. Now we have an additional section where we can select the website that we want to show images from. So I'll go ahead and choose the first one. I'll click on Add Site and I'll scroll down to save my changes. Now we can go ahead and visit this site, which is Neve Demo. We'll just go to this other tab. We'll go to the Media Library and I'll quickly show you the images that are currently on there. So we should be able to access these images from the previous site, which is Optimal Demo. Let's just go ahead and click on new to create a new post. I'll just go to a new line and I'll add an image. Let's go to media library and we'll click on the optimal tab. And now we have access to the images from the other website. Let's view one more example from this Neve demo site. We'll go to optimal settings. We'll go to the settings tab, then cloud integration. This time we'll only enable cloud library browsing. We'll save our changes. And we'll select optimal demo from this list and add site, save changes. All right, now we'll add a new post. We'll add an image block and open our media library. Now, if we go to the optimal tab, we'll have access to the images from our first website. All right, so I really hope that you now understand how to use optimal's cloud library browsing feature, as well as the offloading feature. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.